Hey everyone, Brandon from Aperture here, and here we are at Cinegear LA 2023 with a few big announcements. I've been waiting for these for a very, very long time, and I'm super excited to finally be able to show them off. Everyone's been asking us what the next big thing from Aperture is for a long time, and we're finally here to show off our new latest prototypes. Now here behind me, we have the first lights in our new Electro Storm lineup. That is the CS15 and the XT26 over here. That is the CS15 again is a color source. High spectrum, that's high SSI, 86 in daylight, 89 in tungsten, so super high SSI scores and 1500 watts of output. But even at 1500 watts of output, that is not the brightest picture that we have in the Aperture lineup anymore. It's quickly surpassed by over here, we have the new XT26. The X stands for crossfade, T stands for tint, and 26 stands for 2600 watts. So that's right, this guy has 2600 watts of dynamic white CCT control with tint controls. That means between 3000 Kelvin and 6000 Kelvin, you're gonna get plus and minus 0 0.50 DUV green magenta shift control. And that's in the entirety of the uh, bicolor temperature, color temperature range of 2700 all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. Now going over to a wider range, we have something like the 2000 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin color temperature range of the CS15, which is a full color source. So you have a lot of power, a lot of color control with all these guys, but there's so much more. As you can see, on top of these new lights, we have some big reflectors and big Fresnels. That's because they're using the new Aperture A-mount. The new Aperture A-mount is a new super heavy duty mount that allows us to use these large reflectors, these large Fresnels. And in addition to the A-mount, we also have a Bowens mount inside. So that's right, these lights are a dual hybrid mount of Aperture A-mount and Bowens mount all in one. So you can still use your super large modifiers like the Light Dome 150 with these super high output lights, as well as these new large Fresnels and reflectors. So let's talk a little bit about what you're getting with each of these lights before we move into what makes them electro and what makes them so special. So both lights right here are super durable, made for professionals. They were designed to be IP65 level dust and water resistant durability. That's the lamp head alongside the control box right here. So both super heavy duty, and alongside these larger control boxes, you do have a trolley that comes with each of the lights. That allows you to dock the control box into the hand cart really quickly, just similar to what you have with an old 18K uh, control ballast, 18K ballast, you're able to wheel everything alongside with it. So it makes transporting these a lot easier. Now, these super heavy duty lights can also be controlled electronically. You'll notice that these two lights have different yokes. They share the same yoke. Uh, both on the XT26 and the CS15, but you can notice you can actually remove the yoke from the XT26 and put on something like this motorized yoke right here. So this is a motorized yoke for both the CS15 and the XT26 that allows for remote pan and tilt operation over something like the control box or over something like DMX. So you're gonna be able to remotely pan and tilt these fixtures, especially if you have them mounted up high, up in uh, high places like on a condor or just even on a high stand or a truss rig. You're gonna be able to remotely control these guys super easily. It has a pan, 360 degrees of pan in about eight seconds and 270 degrees of tilt in about 10 seconds. And that's not the only motorized functionality you have in here. With the motorized A mount, you have access to things like the F14 Fresnel, which has a motorized spot flood range of 18 degrees to 45 degrees, all controlled through the contact pins in the new Aperture A mount. So that means you can control the motorized spot flood from side of sling, from DMX, or directly from the control box, or on the side of the light, you're gonna be able to smoothly transition from 18 degrees to 45 degrees. So you're gonna be able to get that whole range of spot flood, all remote controllable on the F14 Fresnel. And that's a big 14 inch Fresnel to really take advantage of the new size of these super high output chipsets. That's right here again, the 1500 watt output of the CS15 and 2600 watt output of the XT26. Now, what does that mean in terms of actual output capability? With the CS15, you're approaching basically a comparable light to 1.8K HMIs in daylight. So you're gonna be able to get a serious amount of punch out of the CS15. And now, not only with adaptable white, dynamic white control, you're also getting full color control out of this guy as well. Now, if you want to step up to a higher output picture, you want to compete and get something close to an M40 or a 4K HMI or even a T12 tungsten, uh, you're going to step over here to the XT26. Now, the XT26 is, again, a 2600 watt dynamic white with CCT and tint control bicolor chipset 
that means you're gonna be able to get in daylight a stupid high amount of output, especially with a narrow degree reflector like this guy that we have on the right hand now. And you're gonna be able to get output equivalent to that or very close to that of a 4K HMI. And uh, as you go into tungsten, you're gonna be able to still maintain a lot of the output by having 70% of that same high output at 3200 Kelvin right there. So you're gonna be able to get a large amount of output for both these fixtures, of course means as we step into this high range of light output quality, you're gonna get with the CS15, a 20 amp plug that comes with each light. And on the XT26, you're gonna get a 60 amp Bates connector when you're in the States. Now, you, we also will be selling separately um, a household plug, something that you can use with a 15 amp cable, 15 amp outlet, um, and that'll automatically limit the output of each of these lights. And I know that's a big question everyone's been asking online is, with higher output lights, how are you gonna be able to use them indoors and on places where you don't have the amperage of the power distro to be able to handle the high output of these lights? We will be selling a separate cable that automatically limits it intelligently within the control box to 15 amps of output. So you're gonna be able to limit the output and limit the intensity so you can still use your fixtures wherever you need them, whether you still need it with the F14 Fresnel or the electronic yoke. Now, with each of these lights, you have the option of three different reflectors. You have a wide reflector, a medium reflector, and the narrow reflector um, that are all using the A mount. You can see what I talked about here, you have contact pins on the back of each of these reflectors. Now, these reflectors are not motorized, so what's the point of having contact pins on the back of these? That's for calibration. So with the CS15, you're able to accurately tune the color temperature of each of the light to the actual optics of the reflectors or Fresnel that you're using it with. That means that when you throw in the wide reflector, when you throw in the narrow reflector, when you throw in the F14 Fresnel, the lights are going to calibrate to the color that you want, meaning it can use its full color capability to adjust the final output color of the fixture to get you a more accurate white point. And you can do something similar with XT26. Now that one has dynamic white with green magenta shift using a WWG chipset. And it's white, white, and green. So that means <clears throat> you're going to be able to make it as accurate as the CS15, but you're still going to get optimization with each of the reflectors that you have here. So you have tons of capabilities with both of these uh, modifiers, with uh, both of these options. Now, these control boxes are super heavy duty. We have all the connectivity you could possibly need all in an IP65 control box. You have USB, you have DMX in and out, you have two Ethernet ports, and you have two DC inputs on both of these lights on um, both of these control boxes and with plenty of control and all, of course, the super, super easy to access UI that you're all used to having with these lights. I'm super, super excited about what both of these lights have to offer, both in terms of their versatility, in terms of their color control and their green magenta shift, as well as in terms of their output. These guys are gonna be the newest flagships of the Aperture line with the ElectroStorm. Um, and like I said, they not only have an Aperture A mount, but they also have Bowens mount built into each of those fixtures. Now, what does that mean? That means it can also be used with our newest projection modifier, the Spotlight Max. So let's make our way over here to talk about this newest projection modifier. So right here, we have the new Spotlight Max that's compatible with our 600 watt and up uh, Bowens mount point source lights. So we have the Spotlight mount that's good up to about 600 watts, 600D, 600X Pro, but this Spotlight Max is gonna be suitable for our higher output lights like the 600C Pro, the 1200D Pro, and of course the new CS15 and XT26. This uses a heavy duty fixture with a Bowens mount, and it's also have a removable yoke, just like you have on the CS15 and XT26 using this quick release mechanism right here. Now, of course, like with any projection modifier that we have, you have the ability to adjust everything with these four leaf shutters. Um, and you have the ability to throw in an iris, which is a dual layer heavy duty iris that we made specifically for this Spotlight Max. But in addition to that, you have the ability to rotate your gobos. That's right. This rotatable gobo holder can take A-size gobos as well as and it has an adapter for B-size gobos. You can actually rotate the direction of the gobos so you can fine tune exactly the orientation that you need uh, with each of your gobos, whether they're A-size gobos, B-size gobos, or even glass gobos inside here. Now, the Spotlight Max is available in three different lenses the 19 degree lens, the 36 degree lens, and the 50 degree lens. But it doesn't stop there because what we also have available separately is this ETC lens adapter. That's right, that means I can throw on something that we don't make, which is something like a 10 degree ETC tungsten lens, or even something wider like this guy right here, which is a 70 degree lens, or even something like a 90 degree lens. This means that even if we don't make a particular lens that you need to throw the projection of, to throw the beam angle of, you can adapt an existing ETC tungsten lens to use it with that fixture. So if you need to spot it in, 
something that's going to be really useful is so using the Spotlight Max with some of our high output fixtures and a five degree lens with something like a CRLS reflector system, you're going to be able to get super, super nice control of your light and super far throws so you can get that nice collimated look like you're shooting with the actual sun. Now, this is going to be the projection modifier to use for all of our Bowman's Mount point source lights, like the 600C Pro all the way up to the X-T26, whether you want something that's full color at 600 watts, all the way up to our dynamic white with CCC and tint control X-T26. You're gonna have a lot of options with this new Spotlight Max, and this is gonna be the projection modifiers you get to shape your lights. So you can use them with things like CRLS reflectors and more. So if you wanna find out more information about these products, you can come by at Cine Gear, of course, or if you missed this and you're seeing this later, be sure to sign up at Aperture.com on each of these product pages where you can sign up for newsletters so you can find out more about when these products are available. Again, we're looking at about early Q4 or as early as possible to try and push these products out. I know everyone is super excited and they want these to come out as soon as possible. So we're really trying our best here. Um, so be sure to sign up and I'll see you later.